There's two blocks in common use. That's the subtenons block and the peribulbar block. Now, subtenons block is my preference. The fact that it doesn't use a sharp needle, I find it very safe, but it's also so effective. It's super fast onset, which means that it's a perfect block for a really fast operating list. Now, one of the main problems with subtenons blocks is that you might have a bit of chemosis, you might have a bit of hemorrhage or bruising of the eye. And I want to show you the minimalist technique that I do to make this far less of an issue. All you need for a subtenons block is a sterile tray, sterile gloves and the appropriate prep and really just a few pieces of equipment, including a subtenons cannula, the Morpheals non-tooth forceps and the Westcott scissors. There's very few contraindications except for, you know, patient allergy or patient refusal. The only real contraindication I've seen is if a patient has a scleral buckle. Of course, if you know that there's staphylomata around the eye in the particular zone that you're going to be inserting as a subtenons cannula, I'd definitely stay away from that as well.